Hello, I'm Frederic Pascal, and uh, today I'm going to present you the, our paper uh, and improve the estimation of the degree of freedom parameter of uh, multivariety distribution. We call this estimator the POP estimator. And this is a joint work with uh, Professor uh, Olila from uh, Alto University and uh, Professor Palomar from um, HKUST. So let's go for the menu. Uh, we'll start by a brief uh, introduction, giving the motivation as well as the background. Then on the second part, I will present the POP estimator and the algorithm uh, that we derived. In a third part, I'll present a few experiments showing the, the performance of this estimator, and I will finish by uh, some conclusions and uh, perspectives. So let's go for the introduction. So generally in signal processing application, of course, uh, in reality, we only receive observations or data uh, containing uh, several parameters. Uh, that are unknown and uh, that we want to estimate in. And on top of that, in those uh, applications, it, it mainly requires the covariance matrix parameter. So this parameter needs to be estimated. So I give a few examples in uh, radar problems as well as in uh, statistical problems like discriminant and analysis, uh, dimension reduction, or PC and so on. Let's talk now about uh, robustness. So even it, we assume quite often that the data, the underlying model is, is Gaussian. Of course, it's not uh, always the case. Uh, it's, it's not the case when the data contains outliers or other parasites. And also uh, when assuming this Gaussian model, you can have a mismodeling. So one possible solution uh, we focused on in this work is to consider the multivariety distribution. Uh, of course, it's a widely used model, uh, both in uh, statistics and uh, signal processing. And it's uh, well adapted to evitail data and outlier, thanks to this parameter that is the degree of freedom and that control the shape of the distribution. So the T distribution can model very evitail distribution as well as very uh, close to Gaussian distributed data. So let's go for the background. So in this work, we assume that we have a N sample, X1 until Xn, that are uh, independent and identically distributed from a P variate multivariate distribution. So the dimension is P, the uh, vectors are real, and we assume that new uh, this positive quantity is the degrees of freedom. Other assumptions, so only for simplicity, the results are all true if it's not the case, but here we assume that the data are zero mean, that is quite common in signal processing. We also assume that we have more data than their dimension and is greater than P. So the PDF of a T distribution is as follows. Okay, it depends uh, in that case on two uh, unknown parameters, both sigma, the scatter matrix, and a new sigma is a positive definite symmetric matrix. And we have also this normalizing constant uh, uh, whose closed form expression uh, is well defined and ensuring that this is a PDF. The objective of this work is to estimate both those a known parameter, sigma and mu. Okay, so on the estimation approach for the scatter matrix parameter sigma, uh, in case of uh, T distribution, we can use the corresponding M estimator uh, that takes this form. And as you can see in this uh, M estimating equation, uh, the sigma A depends on mu. So, and mu is assumed to be an, is a known and need to be estimated. So, what is uh, our proposed approach for estimating this parameter? So just a couple of reminders. When a vector follow a T distribution, it is equivalent to write that this vector X is the product of tau and Z, where Z is the Gaussian vector, with, uh, zero mean and with covariance matrix sigma. Tau is independent of Z and the distribution of tau is as follow. It's inverse for a gamma distribution with those two parameters. On top of that, uh, we have that the covariance uh, matrix of X denoted by R is equal to 
theta, so uh, constant times the scatter matrix. And in case of multivariate distribution, there's a closed form expression. Theta is equal to the expectation of R squared divided by P and equal to nu divided by nu minus two. So or equivalently, nu is equal to a function of this theta parameter. Meaning estimating these theta parameters will allow to, to have an estimator of and estimating theta will rely on this, on, on the expectation of this uh, quadratic form that is a, a man analog distance. Okay, so let's go for the main uh, contribution of this work. So uh, what we've called the pop estimator. So we assume that we have this ensemble of T distributed data with a new, uh, the degrees of freedom. And let us define a theta hat as follows. So uh, there is a square con quantity, one minus p over n, though, that involves both the dimension and the number of data. Okay, these terms come from run random matrix theory, so it's detailed in the proof in the paper. And this quantity is multiplied by this uh, empirical uh, uh, mean, okay, involving this quadratic form depending on both the data and the, uh, an estimator sigma at i. So this uh, subscript i define the m estimator associated to the t distribution, the one I've presented before, but for which we removed the i-th observation, okay? And uh, what we have proved in the paper is that uh, deriving this estimator, we can also show that this is a consistent estimator of theta. And as I said previously, having this consistent estimator of theta allows to have a consistent estimator of, of nu. Okay, so the, the, I'll give you quite quickly a sketch of the proof as well as the implementation. So as I said, we're interested in estimating this quantity. So the expectation of this quadratic form. So quite natural or intuitive idea is to, to use this uh, empirical mean and replacing uh, this uh, quadratic form by all the uh, empirical quadratic form involving uh, the observation as well as the estimator. The, the problem of course is that is the fact that this estimator depend on new as we have seen uh, previously. So let's first uh, introduce a kind of theoretical object. So this sigma IG, GCWE that depends only on the Gaussian part of this uh, T distributed vector Xi. Of course, in practice, we cannot use this because it cannot be a computable. So we use it only for proving uh, our results. We have shown that uh, we have this convergence of this uh, empirical mean toward one, and this one corresponds to this ratio because here we are in a Gaussian context, so this expectation is equal to P. Then from the theorem coming from one paper, uh, we have uh, that the M estimator is equivalent to this quantity times a scaling constant. That is the solution of this equation also depending on you. So at the end of the day, we have a way to estimate a new and a way uh, to estimate uh, this sigma at. So the main idea is to alternatively estimate both quantity. So this is contained in this uh, algorithm. So we have the, the, the data as input. Let's start with, I would say not so bad initialization for the degree of freedom. So we, we compute thanks to uh, this quantity relying on the kurtosis of the data. So it comes from this paper. Then we compute the uh, M estimator of the scatter matrix, the one uh, in which we removed the ice observation. And then we update the theta parameter to update at the end the uh, degrees of freedom. We use this uh, stopping criteria and the output is the uh, proposed estimator. Of course, we can compute uh, in the same time, the scatter matrix. Okay, so let's move to some experiments to, to assess, to see the, the performance. So of course, uh, one considers the mean square error on a new hat as performance metric. We've run uh, 5,000 Monte Carlo runs. 
And uh, we have uh, analyzed these uh, two scenarios. The first one is uh, the case where nu is equal to three, so small value of nu, meaning very heavy tailed uh, data. And a second case, uh, nu equal 10, quite close to Gaussian data. Then and several dimensions uh, have been tested, 10, 30, 40. And uh, sigma uh, is, a, is an area covariance metric structure with uh, 0.6 as parameter. We compare to uh, two state-of-the-art uh, other estimators. The first one based on the kurtosis, so the, uh, that is the starting point of uh, our algorithm, and another one that is data that uh, both uh, can be found in those uh, papers. So let's go for the first uh, experiment. So heavy tail case, nu is a small, uh, is a small. What we can see is that of, of course the kurtosis based estimator is, is not as good as the two others. So the proposed the pop estimators and this uh, new at zero. And uh, of course, this, uh, this uh, figures uh, show that the performance of the pop estimator are better than the others. What is interesting to notice here is that the performance are very good, especially in the case where P and uh, N are quite small. Uh, N starts at 40, uh, and should be greater than those two values of P, and the performance are still very good even in this uh, area. That is not the case for the estimators. So it was the case for evitated distribution. Let us now turn to, I would say, Gaussian, uh, close to Gaussian data. So again, uh, the pop estimator outperforms the other and with the same behavior when uh, N and P are quite small. In, in, in this case, uh, we analyze um, P equal 10 and P equal 40 and starts from uh, 80. And we see that the performance are still good. What is uh, important to notice is that in that case, the kurtosis based estimator perform better because uh, we are closer to a Gaussian uh, distribution. So to conclude, uh, in this work, we derived uh, an improved estimator of the degrees of freedom parameter for the multivariety distribution, as well as the associated recursive algorithm. Uh, we have shown on few experiments that it outperformed the state-of-the-art uh, estimator, and especially it performs very well in the case small dimensions, small number of observations. For future work, so we are testing on real data, on financial uh, data sets. We will make the statistical uh, anal analysis of this uh, estimator, and we want to derive and compare analogous uh, estimators. As I said, the scale quantity, one minus p over n could be replaced by other and c. So that's it for me for today. And uh, so I thank you for your attention and uh, I'm ready for answering uh, the, the question. Uh, I should be in the, in the session. Thank you very much.